Hey, it's Chris, and in this video, I'm going to review the Xtools Torque Wrench Set. So this is a great option if you need an affordable torque wrench. Maybe you've got your first carbon frame and you want to make sure you're not destroying it, but the idea of spending £200 on the torque wrench is obviously ridiculous. You can pick up one of these, they're much more affordable, and we'll have a play and see what's inside. So this is the main body and you simply use the handle to twist it on and off. So when you're not using it, you want to take almost all of the torque off, turn it down to about two. Obviously when you're using it, you will turn it up more and we'll look at that when we go look at it on the bike. It's quite a, quite a hefty thing. You get all these different heads. So it's one, one tool, whatever size you need, down from Got a three, three, four, five, six, eight, ten, and some of the bigger ones as well. And the way you stick them on is just you grab the head that you want, like this six mil. There's a button on the back, and you simply push it into place, and that locks it. When you want to release, you press the button again. You'll then set your torque to whatever's written on the bike. Again, we'll go into this when we go look at the bike but then you set the direction using this little lever here. So you can turn it to one side if you're screwing anti-clockwise, turn it to the other side if you're going clockwise. And that's the basics of it. Now let's go look at the bike and see how we use it. Okay, so let's look at how we practically use the torque wrench. Got a little bolt here. So I found the correct size key, in this case it's a 3 mil, and I'm just going to push that on, pushing the button down at the back, and then stick that in, so you adjust the torque to whatever you were looking for, stick it in, and if it's making that clicky noise, that means it's the non the non measurement side if it's just constantly clicking. Um, in this case, twisting it the other way. You just need to. In this case, it's already tight in, but you just need to do that until it clicks. And with this little lever, you can move it the other way. So now I can turn it this way and it clicks. If you found this video useful, then please hit subscribe to make sure you get all my latest biking and triathlon videos right in your feed.